In this video, what we are going to do is solve problems based on trigonometric ratios of allied angles. If you're wondering what allied angles is, uh, so here is the definition of allied angles. Uh, allied angles are angles whose sum or difference is uh, either 0 or a multiple of 90 degrees. That's what is allied angles. Let's solve problems based on trigonometric ratios of allied angles. So here we have the first one. So here we have a question which uh, says find the value of sine 315 degrees, All right? So how are you going to find the value of sine 315 degrees? We know the values of sine 0 which is 0, sine 90 is 1, sine 45 is 1 by root 2 and so on. But what is sine 315 degrees? Well, this is where the allied angle concept is going to come into play and this is what we did in the previous video, you know, when we did all those ratios of sine of 360 plus theta, sine of 90 plus theta and so on and on and on. So what we are going to do is we are going to write 315 in terms of a multiple of a 90 degrees. That's what we are going to do now. See what we are going to do is write 315 as you can write it in two ways. 90 times 3 which is 270 plus 45 right. 90 into 3 90 degrees into 3 plus 45 degrees or you can write it as 90 degrees into 4 minus 45 degrees. Both the, both the things if you find out it's going to be 315 degrees. What we are doing is we are writing 315 degrees in terms of multiples of 90. That's all we are doing. Now what is the difference between 90 into 3 plus 45 or 90 into 4 minus 45. Here is the difference I'm going to show you now. Now if you see this is as good as 270 plus theta, right? 90 into 3 is as good as 270 plus theta. So, 315 degrees uh, lies in which quadrant? 315 degrees and 270 plus theta lies in the fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, sine is not positive. So, it is going to be negative, all right? But, sine remains uh, sine or sine changes to cos well that depends on this number here if it is odd sine changes to cos all right coming down it's 90 into 4 360 minus 45 degrees 360 315 again lies in the fourth quadrant so therefore it's going to be negative but since it's 4 okay it's going to be sine cos of what cos theta which is 45 degrees sine of what sine theta which is 45 degrees so minus cos 45 is also minus 1 by root 2 and minus sine 45 is also minus 1 by root 2. So the answers are going to be same no matter what method you're going to follow. You can you you can write 315 as 270 plus 45 or 360 minus 45. The answers are going to be the same. So therefore, the value of sine 315 degrees is negative 1 by root 2. Right? Let's quickly solve another problem. We have cos 210 degrees. Find the value of cos 210 degrees. Now, from now on, I'm going to follow just one method. You can experiment with the other method. I'd suggest that as a practice for you. So, how I'm going to write cos 210 degrees is, I'm going to write it as cos of 90 times 2, which is 180 degrees, plus 30 degrees. That's what I'm going to do. You can write it as, you know, 90 times 3, minus minus 60 degrees sorry yeah 90 minus uh, times 3 that is 270 minus 60 is going to give you 210 so you can do that as well so what i'm going to do i'm i'm, I'm just going to do this so cos of 90 into 2 so 210 lies in which quadrant 210 lies in it lies between 180 and 270 right let me quickly draw this quadrant thing for you if you are not really clear now this is going to be 0 this is going to be 90 this is 180 this is 270 this is back to 360 so 210 lies in the third quadrant so third quadrant it's tan and cot are positive cos is negative so therefore this is going to be negative since it is even here cos is not going to change to sine it's going to remain cos if it is odd it will change to cos, sine to cos. If it is even, sine remains sine. So if it is even, cos remains cos. And what cos of what? Cos of 30 degrees. And what is cos 30 degrees? Cos 30 degrees is root 3 by 2. But minus cos 30 degrees is negative root 3 by 2. So therefore, cos of 
210 degrees equals minus root 3 by 2. Pretty simple problems these, but these are just very simple problems, you know, which is not going to fetch you a lot of marks. But these are going to be part of bigger problems, which is going to fetch you, you know, 5 or 6 marks or whatever that is. This ends these problems as well as video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more such problems. Thank you.